Hello my friends, the new Tesla Model Y performance. We've discovered a, f a bunch of new stuff. It's coming pretty soon, I think within the next few months, but here are the new features. There's a bunch of them. I've collected them from a, from a series of different articles and different sources of people spotting the Tesla Model Y performance and seeing these are the changes. You know, if you've got an existing Model Y performance, if you're thinking of buying one, I'd hold off and wait because I think the new model will be significantly better than the old model. In fact, a lot better. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel. That will help help improve my ego. No, just joking. It'll, <laughs> it'll certainly give me a, a, a bit of a good feels and that'd be nice. Anyway, what are all the new changes coming to the Tesla Model Y? Well, for one, we've seen the Model Y actually being driven around the Nürburgring. It'd be awesome if Tesla would actually, you know, do a time on the Nürburgring just to say, hey, EVs can go quick around the Nürburgring. We don't have any times for the Model Y or the Model 3 from Tesla. That would be awesome. But anyway, Nürburgring, it's the most famous racetrack in the world. It's in Germany. It has so many corners that I can't remember them all, even though I've driven that track hundreds and hundreds of times on Gran Turismo. It's lifelike though. Anyway, here are all the new features. There's some minor improvements to the interior aesthetics, but I don't think anyone cares that much about that. There is some aerodynamics improvements apparently that will help the vehicle get uh, potentially a little bit more range. They've used some of those aerodynamic improvements on the Tesla Model Y L. And I'm not exactly sure what they are, but somehow they got more range out of the Model Y L um, with the same battery in a much bigger car than the existing Model Y with 600 kilometers of range. So that's amazing. The biggest change you can see, it's obvious, right? It has 21 inch forged rims. Now those big 21 inch rims won't really help very much with range. I think Tesla should offer it in a longer range version with 20 inch or even 19 inch rims. You don't, 21 inch rims don't really make your car do better on a racetrack. They just look cool. Anyway, there's also a new rear spoiler with the same, it looks very similar to the spoiler on the Model 3 Performance. There's a new diffuser. There is bucket seats. Look at the bucket seats on the Model Y L. Those are gonna be the seats on the Model Y Performance. So they look good. They're not like hardcore racing seats, but certainly they are definitely gonna be more supportive than the existing Model Y Performance seats. So what else? All black headliner. Um, don't know if that means much to you, but anyway, that's there. Updated brakes. This is probably the most important change. The brakes are going to be improved. This is, I think, a fair criticism of Tesla's previous performance cars. Brakes can overheat. And yeah, Tesla has cool features like you can combine braking with regen braking. Um, if you're in a situation where you're driving really fast, so you can get as much regen, put as much regen in as possible and combine it with, it's blended braking, combining it with your actual brake brakes as well. I believe there's improved brake pads I've heard too. So different pads, uh, potentially bigger brakes, and of course, that will improve the performance of this car, hopefully silence some of the critics. Bucket seats, like I said, they're similar to the Model Y L. There is changes to the front and rear bumper, there is suspension, big change here, adaptive dampers. I think the adaptive dampers being used on the Model Y L in China, I think they're gonna use those same adaptive dampers for the Model Y performance. Now, something else that Tesla said, apparently there's new red front calipers and gray rear calipers. I don't know if you care about that, but some people love having their calipers painted. There's obviously a performance badge. There is more power, 510 horsepower meaning zero to 100 will take between 3.3 and 3.5 seconds. So a slight performance improvement. Now other sources are saying it's between 3.2 to 3.4 seconds, but that's for zero to 60 miles an hour, not zero to 62 miles an hour. Either way, it will be a little bit faster than the previous generation version, which did it in 3.5 seconds. Top speed, um, I believe it's gonna be 160 miles an hour, up from 155 miles an hour. That's what I've been hearing. Not sure if that's true. Not much of a difference though, to be honest. Now, of course, there's all the other changes that the Model Y Juniper gets. They'll be there, of course, the light bar at the rear, upgraded insulation, the acoustic glass. Those things I think will definitely improve the car. 
The front now includes a handy drain plug for cleanup or cooling use. Now, of course, it will also continue with the rear media screen for, cus for basically for people sitting in the back seat if they want to use the climate control. It will, you can pair as well, right, that screen in the back with two Bluetooth headphones. So two people in the, in the back can watch that screen with their own personal headphones. I think that's a really good idea. The interior will have the same speakers, 16 speakers with the subwoofer. And honestly, Tesla's uh, sound system is pretty amazing in their existing Model Y long range or wheel drive. Estimated EPA range is 280 to 290 miles of range. So estimated EPA range, that's for the United States. Not really that high, but I think in terms of WLTP range, it's going to have approximately 550 kilometers. It'll use, I believe, uh, the Chinese version anyway, and the uh, German version will use the battery from LG Chem in the existing Model Y that's been improved in size. It's now an 82 kilowatt hour battery. So it's a little bit bigger. And that meant the range of the existing Model Y increased from 500, about 550 kilometers to 600. Meaning the Model Y performance should see its range, probably a range drop of around 50 kilometers and around about 550 kilometers WLTP. So release timing. Tesla confirmed the performance version is on its way this year. And the launch edition will come apparently late Q3 or early Q4 2025 at a starting price of around 57,000 US dollars. That's for the launch version. So that's all the details we have so far on the Model Y performance. I hope I covered off, I think I covered off most things. I think it's going to be a massive improvement of the previous generation. And um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see them. I think every time an electric performance car comes out, it's, it's actually really good for the EV industry because it gets a lot of people who are dead set. No, EVs can't, no performance in these cars. And then their mates go and buy one and they go, oh, do you want to have a test drive my new car? And the, the guy, you know, goes, an EV? You got an EV? What are you talking about? But, you know, they're friends. So he goes, okay, I'll, I'll come with you for a drive. And he gets in the car and all well, the rest is history. Thanks for watching. You know, guys, we often talk about China, about Europe and about the United States car markets and even about Australia as well. But we often don't think that there is a big car market in Brazil. And electric car sales in Brazil are skyrocketing. There's one big beneficiary, one car company that's taking huge advantage of this opportunity. And here's who they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. What's happening in Brazil? Well, for one, electric car sales have grown by a staggering 55% year over year. 55%. This is a market where electric cars are becoming increasingly popular, it seems almost by the day. Brazil have broken record after record. Clean Technica says that in 2024, they sold more than 100,000 electric cars, making it one of the few countries worldwide to have reached that number. In February of 2025, they sold over 10,000 electric cars for the fifth month in a row. 